On August 24, 2025, SpaceX will attempt its boldest test yet, launching Starship Flight 10 with hundreds of heat shield tiles intentionally missing. This isn't just another routine flight, it's a daring experiment that will push the boundaries of rocket engineering and test the very limits of what Starship can endure. This isn't a mistake, it's a calculated experiment to push the rocket to its limits. Engineers and scientists have spent months planning every detail, knowing that the risks are high, but the potential knowledge gained is invaluable. Imagine sending a knight into battle with gaps in his armor, that's what SpaceX is doing exposing Starship's steel skin to the brutal heat of re-entry. The missing tiles are like open invitations for the atmosphere to attack, testing the ship's resilience in the harshest conditions possible. The missing tiles will subject the ship to extreme thermal and mechanical stress, far beyond what's safe. Temperatures during re-entry can soar to thousands of degrees and without full protection, the underlying steel will be pushed to its breaking point. To most, it looks reckless. The idea of intentionally weakening a spacecraft before launch seems counterintuitive, even dangerous. To SpaceX, it's essential research. They see risk as a necessary ingredient for progress, and every failure as a step toward ultimate success. The mission is a flying laboratory, not a flawless demonstration. Every second of flight, every sensor reading, and every scorch mark on the hull will teach engineers something new. SpaceX's philosophy is to build, fly, break, and learn treating every loss as a chance to gather real-world data. This approach has allowed them to innovate faster than traditional aerospace companies, turning setbacks into stepping stones. Flight 10's main goal isn't a perfect landing but to see exactly how the ship fails when pushed past its design limits. By observing where and how the structure gives way, SpaceX can identify weaknesses that might otherwise go unnoticed. By creating weak points, SpaceX is hunting for hidden problems before they can threaten future missions. It's a proactive approach, designed to make future starships safer and more reliable. The data from this flight could reveal more about thermal dynamics and material science than years of simulations. Real-world results often surprise even the best engineers, and these lessons will shape the next generation of spacecraft. This is how SpaceX aims to build a truly robust, reusable rocket, one that can survive, adapt, and return again and again. Each test, no matter how risky, brings them closer to rockets that can carry humans safely to the moon, Mars, and beyond. It's a high-stakes gamble, but the potential rewards could redefine the future of spaceflight, opening the door to a new era of exploration and discovery. The missing tiles on Ship 37 aren't a mistake. They're part of a bold, meticulously planned experiment by SpaceX. Instead of simply patching up every exposed area, engineers have intentionally left certain sections bare, transforming the Starship into a flying laboratory. In these targeted zones, teams have removed heat shield tiles to create controlled hotspots during re-entry. This allows them to observe how the rocket's structure behaves under the most extreme conditions, using the vehicle itself as a giant sensor. By exposing bare stainless steel to hypersonic heat, SpaceX can directly measure how the metal warps, weakens, or even fails. This is a rare opportunity to gather data that simply can't be replicated in ground-based labs or wind tunnels. This test goes far beyond computer simulations. It's about collecting real-world, full-scale data from an actual flight under the harshest possible conditions. Some areas will trial new metallic tiles with active cooling systems, while others test improved tile edge designs to reduce dangerous plasma buildup. Each section is a different experiment, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in spacecraft protection. The ship is packed with hundreds of sensors, capturing temperature, pressure, and strain at every critical point throughout its fiery descent. This sensor network is vital for understanding exactly how the vehicle responds in real time. Even if the vehicle breaks apart during re-entry, as long as the data is transmitted back to Earth, the mission will be considered a success. The information gained is invaluable for future designs. The ultimate goal is to map the true limits of Starship structure and thermal protection, revealing exactly where improvements are needed. Just like engineers stress test a bridge until it fails, SpaceX is deliberately finding the breaking points of their spacecraft, on their own terms, and in a controlled environment. By learning these lessons now, SpaceX can make future missions safer and more reliable, reducing the risk of disaster when astronauts eventually climb aboard. This is the science behind the missing tiles, a calculated risk for a safer tomorrow.
Flight 10's core objective is to collect data that simply can't be gathered in any other way, data that will shape the future of space travel. This mission is about pushing boundaries, taking calculated risks, and learning from the most extreme conditions possible. By flying through the harshest environments, SpaceX hopes to uncover insights that ground tests and simulations just can't provide. Every sensor reading and every second of footage is invaluable. By exposing the steel skin to extreme heat, SpaceX will discover how much punishment the alloy can take before it fails. This is about understanding the real-world limits of their materials not just the theoretical ones. Engineers want to see how superheated plasma interacts with gaps in the heat shield, and whether the design can tolerate imperfections or unexpected damage during re-entry. They're also watching what happens to the underlying structure, how the spacecraft's skeleton holds up when the outer layers are compromised. This real-world data will help refine computer models making future predictions more accurate and reliable. It will also validate new, actively cooled metallic tiles, an innovation that could change how spacecraft are protected from heat. If these new tiles work, they could make Starship's heat shield lighter, easier to maintain, and potentially cheaper to produce, opening the door to more frequent flights. The test will also show if Starship can survive minor damage, crucial for a reusable system that needs to fly again and again with minimal repairs. Understanding these limits means future starships can be safer, more robust, and better prepared for the unknowns of space. The insights could lead to lighter shields, bigger payloads, and more efficient missions, making space more accessible. They could even inspire new starship variants, each tailored for different destinations and challenges across the solar system. One risky flight could unlock a new era of capability, setting the stage for bolder missions and greater ambitions. Ultimately, it's about building a ship that can handle the unexpected, adapt to adversity, and keep flying, no matter what space throws at it. Launching Starship 10 with missing tiles is the ultimate example of SpaceX's fail-fast, learn-faster philosophy. Unlike traditional aerospace, SpaceX builds, tests, and iterates rapidly, accepting that some rockets will be lost. Each flight is a chance to gather data and improve the next version. Engineers apply lessons from every test directly to the next prototype, accelerating progress. This approach requires a high tolerance for risk and a willingness to sacrifice hardware for knowledge. A flight that fails but provides clear data is more valuable than a flawless but uninformative success. SpaceX's rapid hardware-rich strategy lets them innovate faster than anyone else. Flight 10 is a testament to this confidence, risking the vehicle to gain the insights needed for a truly reusable interplanetary rocket. Progress, not perfection, is the goal. Flight 10 stands on the shoulders of every test, success, and failure before it. Early Starship hops taught engineers how to land. Each crash was a lesson in disguise. Recent setbacks like the loss of Ship 35 and ground test failures led to major design overhauls and new safety protocols. Every explosion and malfunction has been analyzed resulting in stronger, smarter rockets. The knowledge gained from past flights gives SpaceX the confidence to push boundaries with Flight 10. They're not guessing, they're running a highly informed experiment. Each failure has built a foundation for this daring test. SpaceX is systematically turning hard-won lessons into hardware improvements. Flight 10 is the next step in a relentless cycle of learning and innovation. For Flight 10, success isn't about bringing the rocket home, it's about bringing home the data. If Ship 37 transmits a full stream of telemetry during re-entry, even if it's destroyed, the mission is a win. SpaceX treats the vehicle as a research tool, not a precious asset. This mindset allows for riskier, more revealing experiments that accelerate progress. Accepting possible loss from the start frees engineers to tackle the hardest problems head-on. The mission is a bundle of experiments, new landing burns, engine relights and satellite deployments, all designed to gather data. As long as the data flows, the mission is a success. This approach unleashes innovation and keeps SpaceX moving fast. The spectacular visuals are just a bonus, the real prize is the knowledge gained. It's a new definition of success, one that puts learning above everything else. Starship Flight 10's experiment has global implications, especially for NASA's Artemis program. NASA needs a reliable Starship to land astronauts on the moon, and every risky test brings that goal closer. The data from this flight will directly inform the design and safety of the lunar lander. NASA is watching closely knowing that learning from failure is essential for progress. Each test flight, even a destructive one, helps close the gap to a fully reusable human-rated rocket. SpaceX's bold approach is what's needed to open the solar system to humanity. 
This flight is more than a test. It's a statement about how we'll explore the cosmos by taking calculated risks and learning fast. Every lesson brings us closer to the moon, Mars, and beyond.